So you lured me here to defeat me. A cunning ploy indeed. But that's not it. He's not an intruder. Do you know this person? You came to ask me something. So you break into the server and cause all this commotion just to ask me a question? If you're genuinely sorry, then I don't want to take things any further. But what is it that you were willing to capture me to just ask me? You want to know the secret of my golden body. Why would a human want to know such a thing? Solarmon hired you to ask me. I'm sorry I wasn't brave enough to ask you directly, so I hired this human to do it. I look up to you. I want a magnificent golden body like yours. So you just want to know how to get a golden body? That's right. Sorry to disappoint you, but there is no secret. None at all? I used to be a Solarmon just like you. Oh, wow. I simply worked hard as a security guard, and one day I digivolved into my current form. So you... So it's a Digivolution form. Digimon look very different after they Digivolve. That's how I went from being a Solarmon to what I am now. It's no secret. There's no need to thank me. But I can't believe I lost to a human. I still have some way to go as head of security. If you were a real intruder, we'd be in serious trouble right now. I must reevaluate my abilities and apply myself to make sure I'm up to the job. Instead of punishing us, you're disciplining yourself. You're so cool. Solarmon? He talks to me all the time now. Gardramon Gold, huh? I'm working much harder than before, and Gardramon Gold is so supportive. Being supported by someone I admire so much is like a dream. He said I should be able to digivolve like him if I keep up the hard work. But knowing that he used to be a Solarmon just like me is really encouraging. Doesn't look impressive, he's so wise too, but I just want to be like him. And I know that if I work hard enough, I'll have that same magnificent golden body one day. Thanks to you, my days are filled with hope again. Once I get my cool new golden body, I'll be sure to visit you and show it off. Okay. Someone's body conscious. Ah, <laughs> uh, probably not. Okay. Mr. Navit. Mm, appearing in Ikigiboro for the thief who doesn't steal. Yeah, let's do that one. Getting all of us together for a job. That's pretty extravagant. Who's the client? The Aquarium Aiki Kubo. The client is a fish. Of course not. It's the Aquarium Manager. It's a theft case. It seems thieves have been breaking in. It just sounds like an ordinary case, but isn't that a police matter? The police have passed the case on to us, so it's not just an ordinary case. Mato Yoshi. Huh. I see you're all here. Thanks for agreeing to this. This is the manager. Mizushita. Manager of Aikibukuro Aquarium. Keep in mind that everything we discuss must be absolutely kept confidential. I'll explain. Fish have been going missing from our tanks every night for some time now. Because of the cunning methods employed by thieves, it took us more than a month to notice that anything was wrong. What fish have been stolen? For starters, sea bream, flounders, and seahorses. The thieves want to start their own aquarium. This is not a laughing matter. You laugh and he gets mad at me? What else was stolen? Some sharks, jeez. How do you steal this? Let's see, the sharks in our aquarium are a small species. They're about 30 centimeters long. I never knew there were small sharks. They don't sound very scary. Clownfish? Conger eels, jellyfish, sardines, spider crabs, and even penguins and sea otters have also been stolen. Jeez, it's a long list. What about cod? Were any cod stolen? We don't have cod in the aquarium. Oh, I get it. How could you not notice all these missing animals for a whole month? Aren't they mammals? I'll get back to that later. The thieves, they employ very cunning methods. I'm sure it's not because you old geez geezers aren't up to the job. I don't know what to say to that. Show some respect for your elders. Hackers rely on information to do their job, so you should listen to everything the client has to say. Isn't that right, Ryuji? That's right. Sorry to interrupt. We don't know why, but the thieves always return the animals to where they belong after a few hours. The so the exhibits are stolen during the night and returned before we open the next day. More specifically, they're usually returned after about an hour. That's why we didn't notice it for over a month. How? Pardon me? She means how did you eventually notice what was going on? 
Unless something happens, the CCTV camera footage is wiped every month without being watched. A member of our staff noticed what was happening while erasing the footage. It showed some masked men carrying the, away the tanks at lightning speed. They returned in about an hour and put them back in exactly the same place right next to the millimeter. I, I, I'm not sure if I read that right. It kind of went past me real quick. That sure is strange. Why would they do such a thing? That's what makes this case so bizarre. They risk being caught just to return what they took. The police's job to investigate this, but my superiors have been at loggerheads about how to handle it. I'll spare you the details, but this case isn't I technically classified as theft. Legally, theft is the intention to permanently deprive the owner of property. If that can't be proven, it can't be considered theft. The perpetrator's behavior of always returning the exhibit means that the owner isn't permanently deprived of his property. Of course, if we knew who they are, we could nail them for trespassing on private property, but trespassing cases are not a high priority. My superiors have decided we can't spare the resources to investigate this right now. That sounds like an excuse for being lazy indeed. That's a bit of an exaggeration. Detective Matoyoshi can't be everywhere at once. Oh yeah, he's got a thick skin. Oh good, good. That's why I've resorted to bringing in Mr. Mizushita here to meet with you in secret. The aquarium is actually scheduled to undergo a major renovation soon. If word of this gets out, we might end up losing our grant and may even have to shut down permanently. I suppose it would be risky to grant an aquarium where thieves can come and go at will. The CCT footage is evidence of trespassing. If you can find out who they are, I'll arrest them. Tell us everything you know. The thieves always make their move during gaps in the security guard's patrol schedule. Of course, we change the routes and hand over times every day. Even so, they always know the times when there are the fewest guards. How about security? Do you have motion sensors or infrared beams? The thieves disabled our security system, so the alarm never goes off. Is it some crappy old security system? Far from it, it's brand new. One of the thieves must be a highly skilled hacker. I hear there are lots of top-notch hackers in Eden. You don't suspect us, do you? Of course not. Matayoshi told me about you. He said you wouldn't be capable of something like this. How nice of him to say that. <laughs> I didn't mean that. I just meant you wouldn't be capable of committing a crime. Otherwise, we wouldn't... A crime like that. Otherwise, we wouldn't be asking for help. Oh, sorry. I mean, I phrased that badly. I really would like to see Hudi uncover the truth and catch the culprits. I think we should take the case. I mean, even though we were technically insulted. I, I think the case itself matters more. Let's take it. I knew you'd take it. Thanks. Thank you. Let me just check two things. Every single stolen exhibit was returned, right? Was anything added? Please check for any unfamiliar decorations or anything else. Contact us straight away. Make sure you don't touch it. Understood. Thanks again. Then I'll leave it to you. Let's go over the case. Every night a group of masked men evade the security guards. They steal the exhibits. They come back and return it soon after. Do you know who they are? No idea. How about you, new kid? Douchebag. Eh, South Park reference. Might be the criminals love fish. It's not enough to just look at them. They want to swim with them. Why go to the trouble of returning them? Maybe they realize that they're too difficult to keep. You have to control the water temperature, water quality, and stuff like that. It's difficult even for a professional. So the next day, they steal different fish within an hour and realize they're difficult to keep. That'd be really stupid. Or there is something we're missing. We need more clues. Let's see. I've connected to the aquarium server. The thieves accessed it via cyberspace. They've deleted the logs, but that's not enough to stop this. Let's see. They've covered their tracks. Forward the data to me. I think I know how to uncover their route. Shitose. Okay, I'll take it from here. Does that sound good to you? Got the address. Aquarium backdoor URL. Be careful. Did she say that to Ryuji? I'm sure she did. Okay. So, where I need to go now is probably that aquarium. Yeah. Oh, aquarium backdoor in Eden. Okay, let's go to Eden. Yeah, missed that for a second. Okay. Aquarium back door? Yes. Oh! Another digital space. What is this? Root access. 
make floors. What's going on here? Hmm. Okay, this is an interesting setup. Just want to finish the battle so I can get back to investigating. Okay. Now then. Oh, oh man, I should go back for that treasure chest. Feel like an idiot. I don't want to miss any collectibles here. Because you never know what you might find that, might, that may turn out to be useful later. It's probably um, Mirai's notice that the farm development, that the farm is ready. That the Digimon behind the farm development have completed whatever task I've given them. Oh, meant to do Wisp. I want, yeah, you know what? I, I just realized, I could just leave the battle. I don't need to be a part of this. Treasure? Farm expansion plugin, sweet. Okay, I am leaving. Yeah, I'll just keep doing that until I get to the next room. I'm probably not gonna heal from from uh, from now, like up to the end of this. It would be a waste of time for me. I have a regen for SP. I've got spares. Okay, let's go. Who's that? The thief? Is that a girl? To my aquarium, a Minamo, 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 yeah. Are you the police? We're, like, detectives. You've got nothing on me. What is this place? What are you doing here? Give you a special tour of my aquarium. She didn't answer either of my questions. This place looks exactly like the Akibukuro Aquarium. It's a perfect digital copy of the aquarium's building, facilities, and animals. It's almost complete, hee hee hee. Did you do it? Did you, you did it to create this place, but did you really need to resort to theft? You could find similar fish and buildings on the net. Similar isn't good enough, it has to be a perfect reproduction. The building and decor can be recreated from photos, but how the animals look and move can't be scanned from ordinary photos and videos. They have to, they have some very rare fish. So there's no information anywhere about the types of tanks and equipment they use. It's not as if I could just go up to them and ask to borrow their precious fish and equipment, right? So you steal them, copy them, and then return them. Steal, don't use that word. I borrowed them and scanned them with a 3D scanner. No one could accuse me of stealing. Yeah, private property, they got you on that. In the virtual world, people are free to go anywhere they like. The real world is so full of restriction. Although you're not quite right, I didn't actually respond. Breaking into the aquarium, finding the exhibit, removing it, and then returning it safe and sound within a short space of time. I have hired a team of international super thieves. They didn't leave any evidence, and I haven't committed any crime. Did you hire someone to do the hacking as well? I asked a Digimon and a hacker to help with that. Of course, I didn't do anything by myself, and any evidence is long gone now. The most difficult part was scanning everything period perfectly in the short time between acquiring the exhibits and returning them. Brought I bought an entire studio for that, so it's just a very expensive hobby. It takes more than money. I had to be smart, too. That's why you'll never pin anything on me. I haven't caused anyone any trouble, and even for you. The place is almost finished. Her own aquarium. Let's see. The ugliest thing I've ever seen. What do you mean? You spent a lot of money, but you didn't get your hands dirty. You got other people to do it. So much for the perfect crime. The law can't bring you to 